What's going on everyone? My name is Kel Bailey and today I'm going to be showing you guys my process of creating an intro for a CCM type song. So if you like content like this and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. I promise you won't be disappointed with the content that we have coming. And the purpose of this video is really just to show you what production looks like, to show you how, you know, we start with a blank canvas, but we don't end with a blank canvas. We start with nothing. We create something magical and beautiful. So let's see what we come up with. Let's mess with some ideas. I'm going to, I'm thinking the key of C like a natural key. So let's check it out. All right. I'm going to start with a pad. I'm going to pull up my new sound pack. If you didn't know, I have a new sound pack out. It's called Modern Wave Synth Volume 1. It has about 30 sounds in there. Um, it has synths, brass, bass, and all of that. So let's start with the drone pad. I really like the way this sounds. All right, let's go with it. MK pad drone. That joint sounds really warm and really, really good. All right, let's check it out. All right, that's step one. We're going to create a pad that's going to be like the bed of what we're doing. Now we're going to pull up some keys. Real simple. All right, so what I'm going to do is, just so we can get the feel of what's happening, I'm going to add some drums in there as well. Um, and that's going to kind of create a foundation. So I'm going to pull up my um, tune track uh, key drum library that I use. I'm going to edit the snare. And since we're going for that, like that CCM type vibe, I'm going to drop the uh, snare tuning. That's the intro. So y'all see how it's come together. We built it with that pad. We added keys. We added drums. Now I'm going to pull up modern wave synth. Um, I'm going to pull up a bass on here. Live bass sounds really good. So my concept on intros is I'm setting up the intro to somehow connect to the verse. So the intro is literally just that I'm I'm setting it up for the verse to come in. So I'm not with the CCM type intro. I'm not going to do something super, super crazy and over the top. I'm just going to it's almost going to be like an assist pass. So I'm, I'm setting it up so that the verse can do what it needs to do. All right. So I'm going to pull up modern wave synth again. If you're also interested in these sounds, the link is in the bio. It's on sale right now for the next week. You can check it out for $20. So that's going to be. 
be the infamous intro pad right there. All right, I want to add a synth lead to this as well, like some type of soft lead. So we got the leads there, just highlighting that line there. All right, let's check out another pad. Let's try this worship pad. All right, I'm gonna add another pad in here where I'm just sustaining on the five, one and the five again. So instead of creating a new loop, what I did is I dropped in a loop from my loop pack, Open Heaven, into this session. Open Heaven is actually another song, but I'm using this loop for this intro type song because it works. All right, let's listen back. Let me stop playing too much before someone actually takes this idea. This idea is going to be copywritten, so this is for instructional purposes only. I messed up a little bit there, but yeah. All right, so I'm going to pull up Modern Wave Synth again. I'm hearing something that I can add to this. So I'm going to add this synth to the track to kind of give it a little bit more space and more movement. Uh, with that reverb on it, it kind of creates more space. So let's check it out. All right, let's add some bells in there. What is a gospel track without bells? Is it really a gospel CCM type track without it? This is going to act as the organ in this track. Um, we're going to add some more reverb. All right. Make it feel real beefy.
sounding really, really good. So one more production tip I'm going to give you guys. Anytime I'm leaving an intro about to go to like a verse, I like to add things like chimes and like rising pads that fall to kind of create that separation from the intro into the verse. So I'm going to demonstrate what that sounds like. All right, so check it. Small little tip right there of just adding the chime makes it sound so much better. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go to the infamous intro pad and we're going to put something right there as well. Small little things like that is like ear candy. So let's do one final listen. Let's check it out. Right. That is how you create a CCM slash gospel intro. Um, that's production 101. If you guys like content like this, please comment down below and let me know that you like it. Um, share it with a friend. When you comment down below and when you like this video and when you comment down below, what it does is it goes into the YouTube algorithm and it tells YouTube that people are enjoying this video. So what does YouTube do? YouTube pushes this video out to more people so that more people can see it. If you support me, if you like this channel, please give me a subscribe. More content like this is on the way. If you want access to my new sound pack, Modern Wave Synth Volume 1, you can click the link in the bio below and go to my website and you can get that new sound pack. All right. Thank you guys so much. 2023 is going to be an amazing year for me and for you. So thank you guys for your continued support. I appreciate it so much. All right, we out until the next video.